Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Tonight I wanted to share some of my favorite booktubers with you. I've really gotten in this community lately, so I'm new and I'm always looking for some new booktubers to follow. So I'd love it if you share anyone that I didn't um, add to my list that you just love, please add them to the list below and so that I can also follow them. Uh, there's never enough booktubers and there's never enough friends to talk about books with, for sure. Uh, the first one is Book Roast. I love her channel. I just feel like she's super honest and unique and um, easygoing. Uh, she does, she doesn't actually ever roast books, which is the best. I mean, like, she gives you her honest responses, uh, but she isn't mean or rude about them. Um, she loves to play The Sims. She just did some videos about that. And she loves Harry Potter, so anybody that has some Harry Potter love in their life is always my friend. Uh, the next one is Hard Book Hoarder. I know that you've heard me talk about her before. Uh, I think she's so adorable. Like, she just always has super cute hair colors and um, fun backgrounds. Her dog named Frank, I think, is just so cute. And she has a lot of the same tastes in books I do. So I always just really like to follow her because I can trust what she says. Uh, the next one is Mackenzie Lane. And honestly, she is the cutest girl. She's early 20s. Well, mid, mid, mid early 20s. Um, so she's definitely like a generation below me. But I love her just take on books. And I just feel like so she's so calming and honest and normal. So it's, it's just fun to watch. She is... One I actually really like to watch at work because it just she's very even keel and has some great recommendations. Uh, the next one is Cody's Book Corner. Cody is hilarious. She's witty and honest. She does a super cool TBR wheel where she like spins it to pick her t um, TBRs every month. So that's been really interesting to watch. Um, and I love her vlogs too. She's very entertaining. Emma Books was one of the first ones I found when I started watching booktube channels. Emma's channel is very upbeat. She's got really fun, entertaining um, recommendations. She's very honest with who she is, and I love that. She also has a series where she talks about booktubing and some of the nitty-gritty, how to get into things. So I really liked that. I felt like her honesty was really neat to see because you know you have these goals and your dreams in your head and um, sometimes you you need a mentor or help to push you along so I really thought Emma Books channel and her video series on booktubing was really interesting. Um, the next one is The Reading Riot. I love her. I think she has amazing energy. She's uh, like super knowledgeable. Uh, reads a lot of the same books I do so I really like that and she's fun to watch. And I'm always interested to see, you know, what she's got on her TBR and what she likes and doesn't like. Because a lot of the times they're very similar to my reading taste. Um, so I really like that. The next one is Alexandria Roslin or Roslin. Honestly, I'm not really sure. She is just the cutest little thing. Um, and she's so trendy and she just honestly like embodies fall for me. Like the whole autumnal feeling is very much her. I don't know if it's just because the time of the year and this and the um, video she's put out lately but she just has that vibe with her hair and her cool hats and um and she really likes some of the books that I like and I'm just I just feel peaceful and calm watching her so I really like her videos especially at night when I'm like working on going to bed I like just to calm down and watch her videos um the next one is Peru's project and I like live vicariously through her. She is from New York. She has sweet clothes and a cool job. I'm pretty sure she works something with bookish publishing or something. I'm still new. But she's just so fun to watch and they do fun things and she reads good books. She watches football. She plays Borderlands. So I just kind of embody that as a Minnesota mom that doesn't get to go out as much or travel as much anymore. So she's kind of my vicarious, um, I can watch her and live through her life. Uh, Jess, nevertheless, is so different than me. And I think that's why I love her the most. Um, 
we're very different lifestyles, but like very similar book tastes. And I just love, like she does a lot of unboxings and she's so honest and I just love her outlook on life. Her tattoos are so cool. I'm so jealous of that. So I've really liked um, Jess nevertheless and just the way she explains like the bookish items and the book she was reading. So I really have liked that. Poland Banana Books is another one I love. Her name is Christine and she is actually the author of Again. She is actually the author of Again But Better and so she lives this amazing life. So she's got a super popular YouTube channel. She's an author. She's writing and honestly she's like my dream. Like that's the life I want to live. I want to you know, write books and film and read and enjoy all the... She loves to watch movies and TV shows too. So I just love her. She's so energetic. She's hilarious, honest, and funny. So I really love watching her channel. It always like gets me pepped up and excited and, and makes me want to write. So I'm, I love her channel for that. And lastly is Chelsea Palmer. She's one of the first ones I found too. She does a lot of unboxing, so I love that. I just love... She's got like a very down-to-earth, like honest... She's... I don't know how to explain it without saying she's normal, but I just love that she feels like someone that could be my friend in real life. And that's always nice. Um, I really like the same books that she likes and um, her videos are always just entertaining. So I love to watch her and she makes me want to buy all the bookish things, but there's not enough money in the world for every single book box. But anyway, those are the YouTubers that I am currently loving. I would love, in the bookish world anyway, I would love if you would leave me some comments below on who I should add to my list because, you know, there's never not enough time for YouTube, right? I'm pretty sure I watch more YouTube than I watch any normal TV. But anyway, leave me a comment. I'd love if you would stop by and subscribe and hit that like button. Have a great night. We'll see you next week.